Irado! <laughs> Welcome to Brazil. Uh, I'm Jedi Doan and this is how to tie the tail of your slackline. This is particularly sort of actually useful for the main line because it's gonna be the thing that's slipping because the backup is gonna be typically loose to the point of where it's not gonna basically slip. But if you have tension on the backup and it's webbing back up, you can do this too on the webbing backup. So what you do is you, you need a place to be able to tie back your tail to, which you should have anyway. So then what you do is you make a monta hitch. Okay. Like this. And you tie off. You tie off the monta with, I'm using a shackle here, or a delta quick link's also fine. And you basically just make it so that this sits, the bow, well, I'm going to make it so this is in the bow of a shackle, but you can make it sit on the flat part of a delta as well. So then you shove this guy in here. Then you just basically cinch it up. What you want is, is not so much movement here, so that if it starts to slip, which will typically happen with loose, looser lines, Especially looser lines in the shorter range. Short, well, I say shorter, like less than 100 meters long range. Like, you want this nice and cinched so that if and or when this slips, it just there's not much to slip. Yeah. And then what I do is you tie a mule knot, it's called, cool, up this. Basically, if I was going around. Basically, a slipped overhand. Yeah, going around this strand. Get that nice and tight. And if you have a spare carabiner, you can just so what, you tie an overhand in the end of this. Okay. Now that's basically secure. If you have a spare carabiner, you can clip this off to wherever. That's great. If you don't. Can just leave enough webbing here where you can just come back and just basically make it so that this can't move really. Just literally just tie like a little overhand there. Cool. There you go. Great. So when you're loading webbing into an upside down weblock, everybody's used to loading webbing into a weblock like this, but the trick with an upside down weblock is you actually take the bite from the other side, like that. And that way you can do it and not be getting confused. And then you put it in, like that. Yep. And there you go. And now you can pre tension it. Cool. Okay, so once you've finished your session, and you're going to de-rig, just unclip your beaner or untiny knot you've made here, take that off, get rid of the overhand, pop the mule, right, and hold on to that. Now if this is under tension, you can let it out nice and easily as you can see me doing here, until that's nice and loose, and then just, yeah, remove the Remove the munter. And there you go. You can just do tension from there. Great. So if you have any questions, just hit them up in the bottom and I'll uh, do my best to get back to you in good time. In a bit. Bye.